In this part of the lecture, I will give an overview of how the split miner works in order to discover a valid PPMN model from a given event log. The main steps of the split miner are as follows. It will begin by discovering a directly follows graph from the event log. Then it will proceed with concurrency discovery, filtering, followed by the discovery of split gateways that will be present in the final discovered PPMN model, and it will finish by discovering the joins gateway. And this is actually the reason why it's called split miner, because it first discovers the split gateways and then the corresponding join gateways. So let's begin by going through the algorithm step by step. First, starting with the directly follows graph. Here we have an example event log where, with multiple traces where each trace occurs 10 times. This is going to give us an, a directly follows graph where we can see all the relations represented along with their frequencies. After the directly follows graph has been discovered, the split miner proceeds into discovery of concurrency. Here it looks at the back and forth arcs between the different activities in the directly follows graph. Those uh, arcs will be removed from the graph. However, the relations themselves will be saved as a separate set. For example, here we can see that there was a concurrency between the activities B and C, also between the activities B and T, D and E, E and G. And the entire set of those activities, including the pairs, will be saved to be used in a future step. Then the algorithm will continue with filtering. And here it's going to look towards the least frequent arcs or the directive follows relations, and those are going to be removed from the graph in order to make the resulting process model a bit more readable. And this gives us a simpler directly follows graph, which will be actually the basis for the next step. However, here it is important to note that this directly follows graph, we can already use it as the basis for a BPMN model. And we can just simply transform it to this. Of course, this is not a valid PPMN model yet because there are gateways missing. So in order to fix that, we have to discover first the splits. And this is the place where the parallel relations that we saved previously or the concurrent pairs of activities that we saved previously are going to be used. Here, for example, we can see that since there is parallelism between B and C, then the first gateway that we are going to use after A is a parallel gateway to handle this parallelism. Meanwhile, between C and D, there was no parallelism, so those will be preceded by an XOR gateway. Once we have those uh, split gateways placed, the model is still not valid, so we have to also discover the join gateways. And the, actually, the easiest way to do it is to just use OR gateways in order to make the model valid. And here, we just have to find out the correct places where to put the OR gateways. And this will actually give us already a valid BPMN model. So here we can say that we are already done. But actually, in practice, the split miner uh, also applies a further quite complicated algorithm in order to figure out which of those gateways should be parallel join gateways or and join gateways, and which of those gateways should be XOR join gateways. However, in this model, both of those are going to remain OR gateways. So this is a brief overview of how the split miner works. However, I hope that you can see that it was substantially different from how the alpha algorithm itself worked. And actually, there are various ways how you can approach process discovery. However, we will not go deeper into those approaches in this lecture. Instead, in the next part, we will introduce another important class of algorithms, which are used for log-to-model replay.